your business partners and customers are going to love this. Embed an Excel calculator on your website easily and help them get what they want without much of a fuss. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use an ordinary Excel calculator and turn it into a page on your website so that your customers can get on there and calculate what they want. My name is Chandu and I have been making people awesome in Excel for over 12 years. Now in order to make our website Excel calculator, you need three things. Number one, you obviously need a website or a blog or a web page. Number two, you need an already built Excel calculator or a tool, right? So you have both the things, your website and calculator. And the third and most important thing is you also need Microsoft OneDrive account. So once you have all these three ready, let's proceed. Open your already built Excel calculator and make sure that all your calculations are working properly. For example, here I have an order price calculator that will help our customers enter some of the product names and how much quantity they want and then see what would their total order price be. This is a very useful tool for, let's say you deal with some special machine parts or something like that and you have an order catalog, you can create such a tool with Excel and so that's what I have done here. I got my product and their prices and I've built a simple calculator. You can select the product that you want, for example, um, that product and then I can say how many units that I want and automatically the price will come through here and then the unit price and then the net price will come through here. I can change any of these items or I can enter a new item and then everything works just fairly straightforward stuff here. Right. So once you have your calculator built and properly tested and everything is working, the next step that you want to do is you want to select the range which you want to embed into the website. So for example, I believe this range including a couple of blank columns, one on both side as well as one row at the bottom, this is good enough. But if you want, you can go a little more, you can add some extra items like a disclaimer or your contact details, whatever else you feel is necessary to have, you can put all of that there. So once you have all of that range, select that range and using the name box on the top left corner, give that range a name that you would remember. Now I have named mine as order.calc, but you can call this literally whatever you want. But giving this name will help you further down the line. So that's the first step. You have already built your calculator. Now select the range that you want to embed and give that a name. Then once you have named, you want to save this file into your OneDrive, right? Normally when you create an Excel file and save, it will go onto your computer or desktop or my documents. But in this case, you want to save it. You can go to save a copy and select your OneDrive folder and save it there. So I have already saved mine into our uh, my OneDrive path there, but you can go and do it. So once you have saved that, you can go to the info part of this and then click on open file location, right? So after you have saved, go to info and click on open file location. When you click on that, this will open a web page with your file. I've already kept it open here, but let's go here. And that's my file. These are other files that I have made available there. So once this file is there, select that file and then click on the embed button on the top. This will create a page where I can see how the file would look like on embedding. Now, in most cases, this should be enough, but because we want to embed only the calculator part, we don't want to expose any of our underlying catalog list or anything, just the calculator bit, but it should work. So I'm going to click on customize how this embedded workbook will appear to others. And from this page, you can select what you want to embed. Now, I don't want to embed the whole workbook. I want to embed that particular range, order that 
calc so i'll select that this will give me an embedding of only that particular order calculator piece and then you may want to hide the grid lines because they uh, they will kind of make it look busy otherwise it will look very tidy with just the calculator piece and you may want to disable include a download link again this is up to you depending on what you are doing but i think that is good and then let people type into cells this is important because it's a calculator so you want your customers or partners to be able to type in some information and then see uh, the relevant output so let people type into cells is important and if you want to improve the usability you can also select always start with this cell selected and then type a cell address this is where if you go back to your file you can see that the very first input that they can specify is b5 so you can select calculator b5 as the input cell so this is that means as soon as they go to the web page b5 is already selected for them right so once all of these options are done you want to go to the embed code select all of it and copy that control c copy that so once you have copied this you can go to your website or web page and embed this i'm going to demonstrate how that process will look like for a wordpress website but the process for embedding such html code changes from website to website so you may want to refer to some other tutorials on how to embed html code but i'll show you for wordpress so here i have a brand new post or a page and i'll just say calculator test and then here we'll just click on that little plus button and then search for html this will open up the custom html part and then here i can paste my embed code so this is it and your calculator is now embedded let us preview this on a new tab and you will see that this particular calculator is now being previewed on my website so calculator test order price calculator this is just like a web page but it everything is interactive i can change it i can select from one of the available products as per my calculator logic so here i'm using data validation to uh, specify what product that we are selecting how much quantity it is the impact driver is 129 dollars and let's just say i want two of them my price will be 258 dollars i can similarly select a uh, soldering station one of that um, let's get uh, a jigsaw two of those and then stapler one and then that's my total order quantity items and then total price is 1104 dollars so this is a how you can get your calculator embedded on your website i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you need any help please leave a comment and then i will try to help you out thank you bye bye